So I have been taking um, pictures of Fitz because he's finished now, I just need to sign him. And I did get some new packaging supplies, so some big sheets of card, I'm going to package him up in a moment because tomorrow he's going to go to Scotland. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited for him. I also recorded a podcast this morning, here is my drinking vessel because I want to be measuring how much water I'm drinking because I'm not convinced I'm drinking enough at the moment, I need to drink some more. So now I'm going to tidy this away, just sign him and then package him up. So today we're going to have a huge studio tidy up, clear out, getting everything out of the drawers and having it sorted out. <laughs> that was a big yawn course. Did you even fall asleep? So hello everyone, welcome to my Tuesday. I recorded a podcast this morning, then I have been doing my patron um Kyla bottle stickers. So I'm about halfway. All of the bubblegum ones have gone. Thank you so much for making a wooden pin club a real thing because it just excites me a lot. I ordered the March wooden pins. I can't remember if I said that in my last vlog or not, but I'm really excited to see what they look like. But all of the bubblegum ones have gone. If you want to sign up, there are some bubblegum slots left. So I've been doing stickers. I have been doing admin type things, <laughs> chasing YouTube, who are ignoring me. I just had a coffee to zing myself up because I felt really tired today. And in a second, we're going to go to the vets. Me and Vespa, me and the boy, are going to the vets. It's just another consultation, but I'm hoping that by the end of this appointment, we will have a date that we can get him booked in. Oh, so I was just going to go exercise and then realised that I hadn't um, told you what the vet said about Vespa. So the leg has got worse, even in just three weeks. So he is booked in for next Thursday. I'm going to go get that procedure done, bless him. So, yeah, they're going to open him up next week and I'll let you guys know again how it goes. I'm back on my exercise now. Uh, I did get a bag of protein today, but it's tiny. I thought it would be bigger because I didn't have any protein left. Yeah, I'm going to go do that and then depending on how much time I've got left of the day because it is now four o'clock, um, I'm going to get back on Patreon stickers. But if I don't speak to you again today, I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> Today is Wednesday the 5th of February and I'm just about to sit and edit tomorrow's Patreon podcast and we're talking about imposter syndrome which I'm sure most of us have experienced multiple times. I have one of the Chucky eggs from Mummy Meegs and I thought I would try it with you guys because it's meant to be the vegan alternative to a cream egg and I was quite partial to a cream egg back in the day. Not my favourite, but was occasionally partial. So I thought I'd try it, because it's only fair. Do it for the people, do it for the demand. Not sure it's meant to be like that. Looks like it's been squashed. What happened there? Is it meant to be like that? I don't know. Anyway, this is what it looks like. It looks like it's dark chocolate. And I got this from Holland and Barrett in the UK. So I bit into it and it burst open, which actually 
is quite helpful. This is what your cream egg looks like. Probably shouldn't call it a cream egg. I think cream egg must be trademarked. And it's not a cream egg. Coffee, please. So the fondant in these is um, a lot firmer than what I remember from the, the real authentic cream egg. And do you know what? This is actually a really good alternative. I actually quite like the fact that it popped open because then I can do a proper examination of said chucky egg. But yeah, I'm impressed with those. They're really nice. They're just very, very sweet for me and I am, I'm sweet enough. Okay, I've got my blinds down because the sun is driving me up the wall. Having a desk in the window is great fun and it's really good for like natural lighting until the sun decides to behave like something that I won't say because I don't want to upset the viewers with small children. So I'm just kind of, um, just over halfway through editing my podcast and I thought I'd have a bit of a break from it because there's builders outside doing my tree in and it's really distracting me from the podcast and I could put my headphones on but they're outside and it's actually like, it's rumbling the desk as well. So I've decided to take part in Emily Harvey's Draw This In Your Style to celebrate Emily reaching 3k on Instagram. So let's give it a go, it's like a little ice cream van that's given out free hooks. So um, I don't think I've ever drawn anything like this before, so let's see how we get on with it. It's very, very cute. my loves it's friday the 7th of february so today i have decided to take a leaf out of my friend holly's book and i remember i think it was you anyway holly holly is so good with freelance illustrator tips and experience chats and all that kind of thing i think i remember hearing it on holly's channel though but do the work that you want to be employed for and at the moment I'm really wanting to go down my realism animals work it's something I really enjoy and after my hand accident in 2016 I just didn't think that I'd be at a place again to be able to withstand that amount of time on one drawing and it has been a crazy journey but I've started to gain a lot more strength in my hand and I think um, yoga in the gym has helped a lot with that as well but um, but that's why I turned to digital art back in 2018 with the iPad and that's why I primarily am digital art at the moment but I used to work in traditional then I had my hand accident and things really slowed down and it would take me weeks to do one drawing and it just wasn't like a sustainable way for me to grow my business at the moment I've noticed that I'm able to work much quicker than I have been before and I want to keep up 
with developing my skills a bit more and I've done some dogs, I've done some woodland animals. I'd like to redo woodland animals because the fox, the badger and the otter were when I was first starting to get back into realism and I just want to do them again. I think that's the best way to get better as well is to just keep practicing. Um, and obviously I've been doing my pet portraits, I've done dogs and cats now, I'd like to do some more cats, but I would like to do smaller animals, so rabbits, guinea pigs, maybe even ferrets. And that is one of the best pieces of advice I think Holly has given on her channel, is do the work that you want to be employed for. So rather than just sit at home twiddling your thumbs and wishing and hoping for the work and wishing you were good enough for a certain kind of work, because I think that's part of my problem as well as my confidence, and the only person that's going to work on that is me. I have set up for my patrons, we're going to be live in half an hour. So I'm just going to be live with them so that we can talk at the same time and chat about things but I'm also going to be filming it at the same time so that you guys can see it as well. I need to, um, you know what, I'm really thankful to be seeing some sun at the moment but also when it's, I don't know whether to move my desk a bit further along, I don't know what difference it will make though actually but I moved in front of the window so that I had much better natural lighting. But the angle of my house always means that I get this horrible, like, really strong glare at a certain time in the day and it really gets on my tree. So here's my paper. I might actually put the blind down just for now. So I've got my polychromo pencils. Um, I've got my Prismacolors ready. I've got the Arteza 120 set. And, oh, just this paper makes me happy, makes me so happy. before I need to go and get James from work so I think I will pack your orders I've also dug out the last of these hot chocolate badges so I think I literally have maybe 20 in this box but they all need to go now I didn't realize I still had them because they're not in the shop anymore but I'm just going to be popping them into orders as freebies yeah, I'm not even going to do a minimum spend, I'm just going to pop them in as freebies. I love popping freebies in people's orders. Because I'm a sneak. This desk, this desk and this chair. Can you just scooch on in there please? I also need to put Tommy up somewhere, I still haven't done it. I got him for my birthday and I still haven't put him up. I need to get a little frame for him, where shall I put Tommy? By the way you guys, I sent uh, the first donation this morning, I think it was just shy of £21, I think it was £20.85 but it has gone to WWF, 
to help with the Australian bushfires and I still have plenty of these left if you fancy joining me to help raise some funds for Australia. Um, if you missed last week's vlog, 100% of the profits are going to WWF. Got a nice fresh pack of compostable cellos for your prints. I'm just going to sign your badger, Anna. There you go. Emily. 